Welcome back to Switched to Linux. So today what we are going to do is just have a talk and a discussion about encrypted drives. Um, this of course is a, a polarizing issue and topic. Right now the FBI is kind of fighting against strong encryption at a time that makes no sense because data theft is happening more and more and more. Um, and of course with everybody and their brother needing to have a stupid online account with every service in the history of the universe and we all know that the password should be something you can remember that has eight or more characters with uppercase and lowercase and numbers and special characters that you don't use the same password over and over on other sites and you change it regularly. <sighs> yeah, you're going to remember that for a hundred different sites. We all have password lists, and I would not recommend some cloud-based password storage system. Um, so what I actually personally do is I have some password lists uh, written on paper, and I have password lists in a printable format in an Excel sheet or uh, a LibreOffice sheet. I say Excel sheet because, you know, I've been storing things on a passworded Excel sheet for quite a while. Now, I lock that sheet behind a password protection, um, and of course it can be opened in, in Libre Sheets or in Excel or probably any other uh, spreadsheet application because it's really nothing more than some cells and, and some passwords. Um, hopefully the, the numbers and whatever else don't get corrupted. But is it enough to just have a simple password protected file and what do you do about backing things up? And that's why it is a very good practice to put things on drives. So I have some thumb drives here. I have two different thumb drives. And uh, what we are going to do is um, we're going to talk about encrypted drives. We're going to talk about reasons to use an encrypted drive, drawbacks with using an encrypted drive, and finally, of course, how to encrypt a drive. Um, some people have asked about this. Now, this is a different process. Uh, for example, I have a banking operating system that I use that is on another thumb drive, much like this one. And that is a fully encrypted drive. You have to plug that in, boot the computer off of that drive, and then you have to decrypt the drive, and then you log in, and then you have to get into the password protection on top of that. Um, I do that. Now, the, what we're going to do today is not the process that you use to do that. Um, but what we are going to do will work on storing your backup files. So for example, right now, um, I am in the process of minimalizing my, my life digitally. So all my taxes, um, that I have access to, I'm scanning those into digital files, but frankly, that's like a full identity theft package right there. So I'm not going to be putting that on any drive that is, that is not encrypted. And so I'm making sure to... Uh, to encrypt those on any drive. So that's a, a logical thing. Now, of course, could you use this information to have illegal stuff on your drives? Yes, you could. Don't do that. I mean, just don't break the law. But at the same token, you know, uh, realize the consequences. Well, you may not be compelled to give a password. You, if modern uh, cases have any say in it, you could very well spend spend your, your life in jail for not decrypting a drive. So keep that in mind. I'm not talking about storing anything, but what I'm talking about is storing your data in such a way that um, not only is it not going to be easy for a thief to, uh, a digital thief to steal, because I'm not keeping these things perpetually connected, but if someone were to break into my house and steal my drive, they still cannot gain access to it because we're going to be talking about locking a drive with strong encryption. And so um, that's kind of what we're going to be doing here uh, here today on the video. Now, what are your other downsides? Uh, downside number one, if you forget your encryption key, eh, just wipe the drive. You won't get it back. Um, there's really not a good way to break into these. Maybe you could try a password, uh, you know, a cracker or something to try and get into it. But, you know, we're talking about encrypting a drive on an EXT4 format on Linux with the latest version of, of uh, you know, of encrypt locks. So <laughs> probably not going to happen if you have a good password on your thing. Um, of course, another downside is I like to format my drives so that they are cross compatible with all my computers, including Windows and Mac computers. Um, we will not have that option. However, I did read a comment that there is a Windows program that might allow you to open up an encrypted Linux drive. I don't know if that's uh, 
for sure certain. But uh, I did read a comment about it that, that such a program may exist. Um, if you know for sure uh, that that is the case or know for sure that's not the case, let us know in the comments down below. Um, so basically what we're going to be doing here, you can only unlock on a Linux computer that has access to the Crypt Utility tools, uh, which you can actually install um, if you don't have it. Uh, you know, it's in most repositories. So basically what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to encrypt a drive um, and uh, we'll talk about the various, uh, the various things that you would, you would need to install uh, to, to make that happen. Um, but the, the easiest, by far the easiest way to do this is to use your, um, uh, use your disks utility. And so what I've installed here on my computer, I just kind of put this little guy up here, just a USB extender so I don't have to bend down and things for, uh, for installing this. I'm just going to plug them right into the drive here. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go over to my main desktop. I'm going to plug the drive in and then you should see it'll pop up. Um, it popped up over here. Um, so there's nothing on it. Um, and then what I'm going to do is, and this is my preferred way uh, to do this. Uh, you can do it through the terminal, but uh, pretty much just boot up your disks. Uh, disks utility is a very nice utility. You'll see it'll have all your disks listed. Here's my main hard drive in this uh, system. Uh, this guy here is my um, CD-ROM, and this is the drive that we want to encrypt. So to encrypt this, um, I'm just going to come down here, and I can format the partition. Now, right now, it's formatted in, in uh, FAT partition, and uh, this is a, uh, I use this, this uh, file system because it's compatible on Linux, Windows, and Mac. So if I need to share these files between the, the variety of different computers, I can do it on these. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Format Partition, and then what you need to do is um, select the type. So we have the FAT, we have NTFS, um, which I know you can do with the Windows and Linux. I don't know about Mac, perhaps. I just don't know much about how Mac reads file structures. Uh, EXT4 is if you want the drive only for Linux. What we want is the encrypted EXT4 Lux uh, system. And then what you need to do is you need to give it a name. So I'm just going to keep the name of files and then to give it a passphrase. Now what you want is a good passphrase that is not, uh, it's not an easy random sequence or it's not an easy one, two, three, four, five sequence. And it's also not a palindrome. So one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Um, that will actually make a password easier to crack if you uh, if you do some type of palindrome. So if you do want to do a palindrome, do something goofy like add you know A B C at the end of it or something like that. Um, so if you just enter in, uh, I'll just type in QWERTY here. You say it'll say weak, and if you have a weak password, I'm pretty sure it will not let you uh, do the encryption. So what I'm going to actually do is let's go ahead and give this a a decent password. Okay, so now it has a strong password. So it says, okay, that's a pretty strong password. We're gonna go ahead and do that. So of course I have to enter that again. Okay, um, you can hit the show passphrases here. I'm not gonna do that because this is a passphrase that I use for not all of my encrypted drives, but several of them. Um, and so I'll go ahead and hit the format. Now, every now and again, I find that the drive doesn't seem to want to format. That can happen if uh, uh, if it's an older drive, it's been used a whole lot. That has happened on this particular drive before, but we're going to see if it actually works. It looks like it's going fine. So what you should see when this is properly encrypted is you see how it's split in half like that. That's how you want it to look, and I'm not going to do anything until um, that's, you can see that circle is uh, spinning up there. Uh, up here, this, this guy here is, uh, uh, is still circling. That means that it's still working. So I'm going to let this thing do its thing, and uh, I will go ahead and cut the video back in when, uh, when that's done. All right, and we're back, and the kitty showed up. Great. Hello, peoples. Don't use encrypted drive for bad things. Yeah, you'll just give the government a whole reason why. We need to get rid of strong encryption because people are putting bad things on there. No, I'm actually putting real files like tax documents, password lists, and things like that on mine. All right. Okay, so it's done. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this guy out. 
Um, so then what you will see when you have an encrypted drive, assuming that you have the, um, the crypt setup installed on your computer, is when you plug the drive in, it should prompt you for a password. Okay. And it prompted it on my other screen. So there you go, it wants your password. Um, let me just double check, make sure it's not displaying my password, okay. So once you enter your password, uh, go ahead and do that. Now you have the option to forget the password immediately, remember the password until I log out, or remember the password forever. Obviously, you don't wanna remember the password forever because you know, that kind of prevents a, a little security risk. If somebody finds your drive, plugs it into your computer, then it'll automatically log in. I usually go with the middle option, the default one, remember it until you log out. This way I don't have to worry about, um, you know, uh, accidentally, uh, if I accidentally unmount it, I don't have to keep on entering the password, but it also will not, uh, will not uh, remember it perpetually. So hit connect. And then you'll see that now it, it is a drive. And now you can just drop whatever files you want to drop onto your drive and they will be encrypted. Um, so that's, uh, that's actually how, how that works. So that's actually the, the easiest way to encrypt a drive. Works on pretty much any modern Linux system. You just need to install this uh, GNOME tools. Um, if you are not seeing the options, then you need to, um, you like I said, you need to install the um, either the, um, all right, so I'm going to, uh, load up, uh, synaptic. So if in the event that you're not seeing the ability to, um, uh, to encrypt your drives, it might mean that your setup utilities are not installed. So the two packages that you want to set up, uh, that you want to install rather are crypt setup. So you can see this one here is the crypt setup. This is the one of the ones that allows the encryption. And the other one is the eCrypt utils. So install those two packages and you should have the full ability of, uh, of encrypting your, your drive. So suppose that you want to in, uh, encrypt a drive from the terminal. Well, the first thing you want to make sure is that your crypt setup and the um, eCrypt utils uh, is installed, which you, of course, can do from a terminal. If you're trying to encrypt a, a USB stick from the terminal, then you probably already know how to do that. Um, but what we're going to do then is the first thing I want to do is I want to see where, uh, see where the, the drive is at. So uh, F disk L to list it. So here's my SDA one. This is my drive that's installed, and uh, SDB two, um, uh, SDB one is the uh, the drive. You can see it's formatted in a in a FAT32. And so what we're going to do sudo crypt setup lux format. Note the capital F. and sdb1 want, we'll ask if it, we want to overwrite it says type a capital yes because this is irrevocable uh, so now we're going to enter a passphrase and then you'll see that of course nothing enters i want to verify it Now it will take a little bit of time, so just kind of let this do its thing. Okay, look, I guess it's already done. <laughs> okay, didn't expect it to be that fast. So now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and test it. <clears throat> First, let's see if, okay, so so uh, the GUI worked. You can't see it, it's off screen. Uh, so it did ask us for the password. Of course, since we're running in the terminal, how do you uh, decrypt this? Sudo. Crypt setup. I want to do lux open. Of course, the O is capitalized here. And then dev sdb1 crypt1. It's going to ask us for the passphrase.
and that will be unlocked. And of course, we just need to, we just, of course, now need, need to mount it, you know, mount it wherever we're going to mount it, which I'm not going to bother doing that step. Um, you can figure out how to do that part. Uh, but anyway, that is how you can create an encrypted USB drive for both a, uh, in both a, the GUI and in the terminal. So again, don't be using this for illegal stuff. You want to make sure that you're you're staying above board, but definitely utilize encrypted drives to uh, keep safe your private documents, password lists, and things like that. And for goodness sake, don't keep that kind of stuff open in the clear without passwords. That's just asking for trouble. You know, whether it's a, a hack or something else on your computer, you don't want anybody to gain access to ma master password lists. But putting them on nice encrypted drives is a very nice, fun thing to do. So with that, uh, thank you for watching uh, this episode of Switch to Linux. I hope that you have learned something about creating encrypted drives. If you would like to help support what we are doing, take a look at switchtolinux.com forward slash support. As of this video, there are Amazon links down below. If you like to buy things on Amazon and you'd like to help out Switch to Linux without costing you anything extra, click through to Amazon on my affiliate link and a small portion of that sale will go to help Switch to Linux. Um, also, we have uh, Patreon and PayPal set up. Patrons get access uh, right now. All patrons of any level gain access to my live streams. Uh, after I do the live stream, I will take the live stream down. I'll put an edited version of the video up. Anybody on Patreon can view access to all of the discussion, all of the comments. Usually a lot larger videos, a lot fun times. Uh, also, I uh, as of this stream right now, as of this video right now, I generally do a live stream on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern, on Friday and Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern. And uh, I try to get the word out on, on Patreon on a public post if I'm going to change that schedule. So thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.